Hope your day's going well. It's Tuesday, February 13th, 2007. I'm Rich DeMuro and you're in the queue. If you haven't gotten your Valentine's Day gift by now, you're pretty much in the doghouse. Let's cheer you up with some news.com headlines. New classic tube, thousands of old TV shows will rerun on the site. New MySpace tools, they'll block unauthorized videos from being uploaded. Nokia and Telesyncs up, putting the wireless email program on hundreds of handsets. And Blackberry's new baby, their latest makes work fun for corporate types. While some of us still use our cell phones to make calls, carriers are betting big on video. But take note of what's happened in Europe, ex-mobile TV users outnumber current watchers. This from a survey of 22,000 Europeans. Seems many have tried mobile TV, but get turned off by pricing, quality, and reliability issues. About a quarter don't come back for more. In related news, Verizon announced plans to bring sexy back in the form of a Justin Timberlake channel on Vcast Mobile TV. At its heyday, even AOL offered unlimited dial-up service, but now with high-speed internet, unlimited can mean a lot of different things. Just ask Frank. Comcast says he's downloaded 305 gigs in November and 297 in December. According to policy, they can suspend accounts that exceed usage limits twice in any year. Now Frank making his battle public with a blog. In it, he explains all that downloading. Email, internet browsing, movies from the fan network, YouTube. Looks like we're all in a little bit of trouble, Frank. Taking an iPod on your run, cool. Using Apple's Nike Plus iPod to track and time your run, high tech. Wearing GPS sneakers, priceless. A thousand pairs up for grabs from Isaac Daniel. The Compass Global 1000, the world's first and only patented GPS-enabled walking shoes. In danger? Not a problem. A press of a button sends an emergency signal to pinpoint your location anywhere in the world. Gift a pair to grandpa and never lose them again. Okay, here's a lesson in IP addresses and why you should know about them, especially if you're going to post bogus snow day closing announcements on your school's website. Two Ohio teenage girls now facing expulsion. The two somehow managed to log onto their school district's website, posting school closed due to winter weather. Authorities traced the bogus change to a computer at home. Finally, the download of the day. When you want to find, compare, upload, download, rent, or share, Blue Organizer will help you do it. A smart browsing tool for Firefox, Blue Organizer unleashes hidden information in web pages. Look up a movie on Amazon, right click to rent it on Netflix. Reserve a restaurant from a review and more. Blue badges on your MySpace or web page let people know what you're reading, watching, or buying. Let's see, The Fallen, How I Met Your Mother, and Slingbox. Consider yourself all queued up. I'm Rich DeMiro, New York City. Don't say I didn't tell you so. Oh, yeah, it's pushing me. It's pushing